everybody. A subscriber asked me, how did I create my signature and what font did I use to do something like this? You'll see this here right in Photoshop. There's my signature. Actually, it's a four-step process. So I'm going to share that with you right now. Are we ready for this? Let's do it. everybody, welcome back to my channel. A subscriber of mine asked me, what font did I use to create my signature? And basically, how do I even create a signature using Photoshop so I can apply it to my images? So I'm gonna walk you through a four-step process on how to do that. Uh, this was taught to me years ago. So to get a disclaimer out of the way, one of the things he wanted to know was, what font did I use to create my signature? And for the life of me, I can't remember. It's been years ago since I've done it. So uh, I'm just going to share the four-step process. You can decide what font you want to, you know, to actually choose uh, to use for your signature. But I'm going to show you how to really customize it based on your needs, and I'll show some tricks and techniques. If you're new to the channel, by the way, this is dedicated to photography and as being a photo artist, push our, pushing ourselves to think creatively out of the box. All right, with that out of the way, let's jump into our program. And the number one, the first thing you want to do is a step in, in creating a signature in Photoshop is number one, well, how in the heck do I find a font? And so I'm going to recommend a website. There's a few of them out there. This is a free site. Uh, it's called Defont. And uh, let me, in fact, let's go to that right now. Let me jump over here. And uh, again, I'll, I'll put the um, the link in the uh, the uh, show notes for you guys. But uh, it's www.da. FONT.com. So this is where you can actually look at fonts and find something to download. And so that's step number one. So let's do that right now. If I come over here to, you know, they have a lot of categories here. But what I did was I went over here on the far right and then I typed in, let's see if I remember there, I typed in the, the, the phrase or the word signature, click on search here and then let it do its thing. And you're going to see a whole laundry list of different signatures available. And um, I think, I can't remember which one I chose. Might have been this one. Um, I might be wrong. It, do, it doesn't matter. Pick pick a font out that, that really appeals to you. So let's go with uh, this one as an example. And if I click on that, uh, the interface will change a little bit. And what you get to do is type your text here. So I'm just going to type in um, my first name. And then um, I'll just choose Submit. And what it'll do is that when you put in your name or whatever name you're going to use, you can see that it'll actually display what it's going to look like in that particular font, which is this is the one I chose right there. So with that font selected, you, um, come over here to the right side of the browser. And you'll see download. That's where you want to click on that and uh, just download that file. So that's the first step. That's number one. So let's get done with that. I did this in advance, so I'm going to close out of that. Okay, so step number two is to install the font before you start Photoshop. That's really the key, because if Photoshop is open and you install the font, Photoshop will not see that font. So make sure Photoshop is closed out. And the way you load this, uh, let me find where that's at. Let's uh, take a look at this right here. Every, this is going to be different on a Windows base versus on a, a Mac OS. Uh, Mac, you should know how to do this, but uh, if you're on a Windows, uh, the way we do it is typically you could just double click on this. You'll see a feature here called install. You click on it and it automatically installs. So it's really easy to do that. In fact, I think you can actually right mouse click on this too and actually choose install and it will install it. So I'm sure it's very similar uh, on a Mac platform. But you want to do that first. So step number two, again, is installing the font. Then you open up Photoshop, which leads us to step number three, and that is designing your signature. And I'm going to share some tips for you and some guidelines, and then we'll get into step number four. But to start out, I'm going to go to Control-N, like in Nancy. Uh, that would be Command-N on a Mac. And that's just a shortcut to get the uh, new document dialog box. If you want to do it the long way, uh, just go to the file drop down menu here in Photoshop and just choose new. And that will give you the same dialog box that open up. Now, what I'm going to do is go over here on the right side because it's setting to my default. 
Uh, I'm going to change this and I'm going to make it a width of six inches by one inch as a height. And the resolution, I want this to be 300. Now, let me explain why 300 is important. And uh, let's go to the drop down menu and choose transparent because we want to make sure it's a transparent background for us. And this will make more sense when you use this in the image. Click on create right here, and this will get you set up. Okay, so with that set up, let me move this over to the side so we can see this. <clears throat> the reason I wanted this as 300 as a resolution, a lot of my images are printed. And when they're printed, they're always printing at a high resolution. So I want to make sure that my signature with that high res image uh, isn't pixelated and distorted if I made this as a, a lower resolution image. That's why I wanted this to be 300. Um, better to be safe than sorry, right? I mean, if you're just doing this to showcase on the internet and it's a low res because you're showing stuff at 100 resolution or something like that, okay, 300 doesn't mean anything, right? You can make it a lower resolution like 100 if you want. But just to be on the safe side, what if you want to print this? Well, the last thing you want to do is have to redo this. So I always say, let's start big first. Okay, now with that selected, we're going to go grab the type tool. So T for the type tool. If you're new to Photoshop, it's right here in your toolbar. There's your T. And then go and find in the drop-down menu right here where it, it shows a display of all the different fonts and pick the font that you're going to be working with. So example, this is the font that I chose. I downloaded just for demo purposes because I can't remember the font I used when I, when I designed my signature. This was years ago. So I'm just going to click inside here. Let's see if I can get my mouse to move there. And just type in your name. I'll just, um, I'll just put in my name. And, and again, you're going to design this the way you want it to look. You could add text below this, bars, all these different things to come up with something unique. But uh, when you're done, I'm just going to Click on the uh, the layer here, and I'm going to do Control T, Command T on a Mac. Make this a little bit bigger so we can see this. Okay, now this is something you might want to play with, and it's totally optional. Uh, again, I'm just going to click on the layer here to accept that, and I'm going to click and drag to highlight just the letter S here. And I'm going to copy it, Control-C, Command-C in a Mac. And I'm going to backspace that out so it's gone. And then with the Type tool again selected, I'm just going to go somewhere else to click in a spot. Let's make sure I accepted that. So again, with the Type tool, I'm clicking somewhere else. And I'm just going to paste. Control-V to paste. That would be Command-V like in Victor on a Mac to paste that. Letter S there. And then again, I'm going to Control T, Command T on a Mac. And I just want to make this maybe a little bit bigger than my original text. But also what I'd like to do is maybe right mouse click on this. And again, this is up to you. Uh, I might choose like skew and then come over here and readjust how this might be shaped and look. So, you know, maybe I'll slant it in like that. Um, I'll use my move tool, my up arrow keys, slide this over like this to match it with the cross on the T just so you can see the S right there. And then again, enter on the keyboard. And then I'm going to select both layers here. So I'm just holding the shift key down to select both. Uh, Control E, Command E on a Mac, just to put everything on, on one layer. So it consolidates it down. I'm going to grab my move tool and just move this over here. And once I have that pretty well set in design, here's a little uh, uh, trick. I want to go to the... Um, image drop down menu here and I'm going to come down to an area called trim and what I want to do is make sure it's set to transparent pixels top bottom left and right is selected when I click on OK it will adjust the canvas size again to just match your your text right there and then um, basically you're done now what you can do is come over here to a category in Photoshop. So this leads me to step number four. So we're done designing. This is step number three. We're done designing what we want. And then you can play with this, add text in the bottom, whatever you want to do. Actually put in a logo if you wanted to, whatever. But once you have a design, consider doing this. Step number four, go to libraries and load your signature there. So in the libraries should be a panel here. Uh, on the far right. If it's not available to you, make sure you go to Window drop-down menu 
and look for something called libraries, which is down here, about halfway down. Make sure that's activated. When you come to the panel, I've got different categories here, but uh, you could create, if, if this shows up in the video, there's a folder down here you can click on to create a, a new group, give it a name. You might call it signature. Mine is set in a category called text. You'll see a bunch of different signatures there. But for demo here, I'm just going to use the uh, empty space here. And it's all I have to do is go here, click down and drag to the right to drop that in. And it should load that into your library. It, it may sometimes it asks for a name. You can give it a name, whatever. But um, this example did not. So it just um, I can see there's a little S there. That's just the file name that's uh, actually saved there. So once I have that done, uh, also consider doing something like this. I'm going to go to the FX button here, and I'm going to click on this and choose Color Overlay. When I do that, Dialog should open up and make sure it's set to white. I want to make, and again, this is a judgment call by you, this is our last thing. I want to create two signatures. I want one to be white. So I'm, I'm going to accept the white there. It's hard to see that on the video. I'm going to click on OK to accept that. And then I'm going to load this in again to um, the, the library. Let that load. And then I don't need this right now. So I'm going to close out of that. So again, um, you can go to File Dropdown Menu, Close. So let me do that effect right now. Let me go to my tab right here, and we're just going to close out of that. And no, I'm not going to save that. Okay, so the two signatures are here, black and white. And the reason I want to do that, this is you know step four, and that is loading um, our signature there. By the way, if you're learning anything, if you can do me a favor, and that is like the video, subscribe if you have not subscribed, and hit that notification bell. The next time I upload a video, you'll get notified that on that. And also... Um, I'd like to thank the people that have been um, supporting the channel because this is not a, um, um, a channel that is, you know, subscribed by, I'm not going to say, um, what I want to get word, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm sorry. I'm tired. It's wintertime here in Michigan, and I was busy out there doing a bunch of stuff around my place and came back in here. And uh, But um, I'm not sponsored by anybody here. And uh, I appreciate the people that have been donating to the channel on a volunteer basis. It's not on a monthly basis, but you can go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Stephen Photo Artist. You'll see the link right here on the screen, but I'll have that also in the show notes. So thank you, everybody that's done that. And also the ones that went to the, uh, the effects tab, the other tab that I have there that shows different things you can actually purchase. And that's another way of uh, supporting the channel. Okay, so now that I've got that done... If I go over here to open up an image, and the reason I think it's important, let me move this up here. I think it's important to have a black and white um, choice in your fonts or signature is if I come over here and I grab the black one in libraries, and that's all I have to do is when I'm ready to use this, is click and drag to drop this into my image. And then you could resize it based on, you know, the, again, the size of the image. Enter on the keyboard, and that's really hard to see because in the lower right corner, it's a dark image. So I'm going to delete that layer, and that's why I created a signature that is white. So if I click and drag and push that over there, you can see that when I move this over, enter on the keyboard, uh, that will show up much better. So if you feel that the signature is too prominent, we can go over here to Opacity, and maybe drop that opacity down so it's not as intense. So there's a, you know, before, after, before, and after. So hopefully you learned something here today. I think it's really cool to create your own look as a signature. And I apologize for the one that asked me um, what, what font did I use to build my signature. And again, I can't remember. It was done years ago. Sorry about that. But uh, you want to dive in there and you know, experiment. Take a look at the different signature fonts from that website. Pick your own, modify it, design it. And so let me just, let's do a quick review here. Number one, first step is, again, find and download the font. 
that that you in, you know that you enjoy that you want to work with. Step number two is install the font before you open up Photoshop because if Photoshop is open, it can't find that font. So make sure it's closed. Install the font. That's step number two. Then open up Photoshop. You'll find it in there. Step number three: design your signature. And I just gave you some ideas on what to do. Uh, doesn't mean you you have to stop where I stopped. You can keep building on that and adding more things. And then once you save that. Number four, as I highly recommend, you click and drag and drop it into libraries and give it the two colors, light color, the white, and the dark one, the black. That way, if your image is dark, you're going to use the white signature. If your signature is on the sort of on the uh, um, dark side, I mean, I'm sorry, the light side, then the, the, the white signature doesn't look that great. It's hard to see it. Then choose the darker one, the black one. So again, hopefully you've learned something. And uh, again, thank you for the ones that are supporting the channel at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Stephen Photo uh, Artist. Until next time, see ya.